hello friends uh, so today we are going to discuss about um, you know productivity hacking so how can you can be more productive uh, and more efficient at your work okay how you can smash through your to-do list okay so real practical uh, hints and tips so let me share my screen just to show you what exactly does that involve okay so productivity hacks so I hope uh, you know all of you you know start your day with uh, a to-do list okay and if you haven't uh, got a to-do list uh, you know that maybe you know you are uh, may not be that organized because that is what I have seen myself when when I do not have a to-do list uh, then you know I'm all over the place I'm not that productive so now next thing uh, you need to understand is um, how do you make a list okay quite important is uh, while you are making a to-do list it's important we understand that what is my responsibility okay so at a workplace when you are working with so many work colleagues it's uh, quite important we are uh, understand and appreciate uh, you know uh, my responsibility or your responsibility as opposed to somebody else so sometimes we end up uh, you know having a lot of things on our plate okay so you have to make sure that uh, whatever is your responsibility you do it whatever your subordinates or you know you are you are a, a team leader or a project manager so that means you make sure that uh, you know things are also delegated to your um, you know the team members if that is their responsibility okay and, and of course you don't want as well to give unnecessary work to others uh, which is your responsibility should not be passing on to others and I definitely appreciate that. But sometimes you also should not be taking on the work which uh, is some of somebody else. And uh, next thing is we have to differentiate. You have to differentiate between what is urgent, important, and what is nice to do. Okay. So what does that mean? So that means the urgent things, what I need to do. So if I need to uh, book um, um, uh, you know, a staff meeting, um, you know, right now in next half an hour, that is urgent because, you know, um, the staff meeting has to be happened, let's say later on on the day. Okay. So whatever that is, so you have to plan. So that means you urgent goes first and then is the important. Okay. Unimportant things. A lot of you are working, uh, you know, a lot of us are working from home now. Okay. And there may be a lot of other things you will be doing at home. Uh, besides your um, you know working uh, for your uh, office as well office work so it's quite important that we appreciate uh, you know what is important and uh, you know what can wait for some time you know so for somebody else um, or you can pick up that uh, for example you are doing a laundry and um, laundry has to be done and but that is uh, you know an office meeting so definitely office meeting is first and laundry can wait okay so that's quite important that uh, you, you understand what is uh, uh, you know uh, urgent and important right now um, and that is the thing what you need to get into your to-do list okay not those things which are not important okay the important definitely can wait later so how do you make a to-do list uh, that is also quite important uh, for us to understand so you know how you know i was reading somewhere about uh, you know elon musk and how he does a lot of things you know he manages three different multi-billion dollar companies um, you know um, at the, he has also that 24 hours what all of us have so how does he do that okay how and what is the best way to do it is uh, now putting uh, you know your bits or bite size tasks so yeah that means whatever you need to do okay on a whole kind of a day or uh, slotting it for example uh, you start your day at let's say nine o'clock nine to um, um, 11 okay those two hours so you just have to slot it down okay based on uh, 15 minute slotting or even half an hour slotting um, and in uh, Elon Musk's case, he does it in 15 minutes slotting, you know, like 15 minutes uh, kind of uh, activity schedules he does. And um, that's, that's ama amazing. So bite size, that means the work has to be, uh, has to cut down into small little sizes. So that means just when I give you an example of uh, you, let's say, you know, putting a presentation together. So you can put it bite size, uh, you know, saying that, okay, research on what the presentation i need to put in you know research time is this and this and then uh, you know 
putting the uh, jot, jogging it, jotting it down on a piece of paper of the content in the second, and then uh, putting those uh, in in a uh, PowerPoint's uh, presentation slide is the third, and then you know uh, uh, putting all the images and uh, proofreading it, uh, you know, just to make sure that everything is okay. The next step, so it has to be uh, all the activity has to be broken down into pieces. If I put that, okay, repair the PowerPoint slide, uh, you know, and allocate a time, that doesn't say me anything until I, uh, you know, drill it down. Okay. Now, next thing is um, visualization is quite important. What does visualization mean? So that means, uh, you know, when I'm planning uh, in my mind, I should be um, crystal clear right? in my mind, I should finish, you know, those tasks on my mind first before I do it, uh, you know, uh, physically. Okay, so that means when I'm putting it down, any activity I should, uh, you know, what, what I have seen that when I close my eyes, and okay, note it down, okay, this activity I have to finish. So these are the granular levels. That means these are the steps by step, okay? These are the things I need to do to, in order for me to accomplish or in order for me to finish this task, okay? So just, uh, you know, putting it down, one, two, three, four, five, just the example which I gave you on uh, PowerPoint slide, uh, you know, just uh, um, bite size and then visualizing it, finishing that, okay? So that means in your mind, you have to finish it fast and that really works miracles. Okay, so you can you can if you thrash those you know or you smash those things on your um in your mind, then physically you'll see that you will be also getting rid of your be able to you know um finish those on time. So that means mental planning and mental execution is extremely important. Okay, you visualize what are the things needs to be done, and in your mind you plan the activities and and then in your mind, you just finish it in your mind first, okay, before you get on with the real action mode. So while in action, what do you need to do? Sticking to the time is extremely important. Now, let's, for example, you have given yourself 15 minutes for something and you are not able to be, finish it in 15 minutes. What do I need to do? So uh, because I have another activity after 15 minutes, uh, do I go for the next activity or should I continue and finish this first one? What I have seen works for me, uh, and really good is if I've given some uh, given uh, an assignment for me for 15 minutes I will do this and after 15 minutes of doing something and this thing I know that it will take another five ten minutes and we'll finish even if it takes another five ten minutes I'll finish it I do not do it that time so I just keep it and I get on to the next planned activity what I was planning and after those 15 minutes and I keep this okay in uh, in my sort of a log, I just very important is to keep a keep a log of things, uh, you know, um, or whatever needed to be done, uh, what, and we are going to do a reflection on those. You know, that is uh, the last step. So I will get on with the next activity. Why do I do that? Why I do it is just for me to force myself that okay, or whatever time I have given that is given. So you know, if I'm not able to finish it, I am going to move on. Okay, and that makes me quite disciplined to finish those work on time. Okay, and uh, so that is about uh, you know sticking to time and the distractions. Okay, so distraction may come, you know, like you may have uh, get a phone call and a message comes off, you know, some social media messaging, and you are tempted to um, you know respond to that or check that. Okay, so that these are the distractions which are quite common nowadays. If you are working from home, you will see that you will have more distractions. Your pet may be jumping here and there, or the postman comes, or, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, kids are at home and uh, they are also, you know, running around. So you have a lot of things to manage and that's where the distractions come from. And you have to make sure that while you are at work, uh, you do not attend to any distractions. Of course, if uh, you know your house is on fire, you say, "Okay, I uh, know I have to stick to my time." It's not the you know, that is not the case. Okay, uh, that is you know your life threatening or you know your you know kid is about to do something you know uh, dangerous, so you you should attend to that. What I'm saying is other distractions like you know social media or you know um, you know somebody try and calling you, um, you are uh, tempted to answer that call, so you do not entertain those okay and finally it's extremely important is the reflection okay reflection that means you are just uh, after 
let's for example you slot yourself is two hours slotting you did from nine to eleven and at eleven o'clock i will give myself 10 hours for reflection what did i do what did go how did it go what was um, um, uh, i was i was able to stick to um, the plan which one was uh, you know uh, the one which i tick up and what which one is still pending and i just i can slot it you know in the next one but i reflect on why i was not able to finish that so that the next time i am slotting it in the next two hours you know uh, planning I'll, i'm doing uh, let's say after let's say you know lunch i want to again uh, dedicatedly sit for another three hours for you know for four hours so whatever is planning you are doing you have to make sure that you slot yourself and uh, your reflection whatever you understood uh, whatever um, you know is your learnings you implemented that so that next time you plan it you plan the action and your activity um, uh, your activity and your timing correctly it matches i hope it uh, helped and uh, you know with that i am over and